What's up, VC Vinyl Community? All you metalheads out there. It's Todd Guy at Thrashing Zombie. The itchy nose. Uh, with contest entry, another one. Um, this is for a new, subs uh, not a new subscriber. Uh, a, a guy I just subscribed to. Somebody else entered his contest. And I checked it out. Kind of an interesting contest. I struggled a little bit with this. Uh, it's four questions. Let's show four albums in any format. It's for his. It's it's for the Vinyl Hazard. Um, his one year in the VC contest. Um, got four questions for us. You could win two albums by a band called Wormwood. I think it's Wormwood. Uh, it's at atmospheric black metal. He said, "I don't mind some black metal." So. Uh, four questions. Uh, first one is to show an album with uh, winter on the cover or a song about winter. Uh, something that has to do with winter. Like I said, I struggle with this a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of albums that have to really do with winter or anything that has like winter on it. So I chose, it's very obvious, Cinderella's Long Cold Winter. <clears throat> Actually has them in the snow in the back. <clears throat> and it has a song called Long Cold Winter. It's not about, um, like, black metal stuff, Long Cold Winter, or, or winter stuff. This is more of a Long Cold Winter Without You kind of love song, sort of, I guess. Um, but yeah. But Long Cold Winter, the white cover, the song's called Long Cold Winter, they're in the snow on the back, uh, it's winter. So that's the first question. The second question was to show an album has to do with, has a forest on the cover, or songs that have to do, or song that has to do with the forest, or an album title has to do with the forest. Uh, I, I went between two different ones on this. Originally, actually originally I went with the one I'm showing, then I just, I was going to go with Revocation song, uh, Cross Forest and Fjords, but then I was like, no, let's go back to this one, this is actually on the cover, that's Blind Guardian, Somewhere Far Beyond, they're in a forest, there's, you know, travelers, there's like, um, not an elf, uh, a dwarf probably, they look like, uh, kind of like Lord of the Rings sort of stuff. Um, if you look closely, you can see little creatures in the forest, like watching them. It's kind of a cool cover. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a pretty good album, too. I like the older Blind Guardian stuff. Um, you know, t time, what is time, turning through the dark. Theater of Pains, the song Somewhere Far Beyond, uh, the Bard song in the forest, the Bard song in the Hobbit, some good power metal here, it's fast. Um, yeah, so there's a co uh, album cover with a forest, Blind Guardian, Somewhere Far Beyond. The third question was, a, was an album that had to do with solitude or loneliness. Uh, he said it could be interpreted kind of however you want. It could mean like loneliness, like one person on the cover, or could have, or it be a song about loneliness, loneliness or solitude. Um, I originally had horse, uh, horse, Orbicule's horse go up the song Solitude. I mean, right on the nose of that, Solitude, but, and then I thought, well, you know what? I think this song's better because this is a song I generally go to when I'm feeling lonely. And it's kind of a. hits me right in the feels. And I already showed this album, I showed all my albums already, but this song, uh, Suicidal Tendencies, album is this, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Came and Smile Today. And the song is How Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Came and Smile Today. Uh, very emotional lyrics about loneliness and feeling isolated. And feeling like nobody cares. Um, great song. 
great riffs, great solos. Uh, Mike Muir's the vocalist. I, I love, I love his vocals. I don't love watching him in videos though, because he doesn't really know how to uh, lip sync when he's in a video. I don't think everyone I've seen it just looks weird. He doesn't know what the words are or something. But anyway, that's besides the point. But the song is "How I Laugh Tomorrow When I Came and Smile Today." Totally about loneliness and solitude and feeling like nobody cares about you and you're all by yourself trying to figure shit out. And that's the song I listened to a lot in high school when I went through the same kind of shit. Um, it has a keeps a place in my heart, so or my head or wherever you want. Suicidal Tendencies, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Can't Even Smile Today? Great album there. And then the last one, last question, number four, was show a band <coughs> from your home country. I live in the U.S. A lot of bands I could have shown from the U.S. So many bands. So many. But I decided to go with this band I just picked up yesterday. I haven't even shown this album yet. This is going to be in my vinyl finds. Um, but this is a American crossover thrash band. They're formed in Astoria, New York, which I'm in Vermont. And New York borders Vermont, so it's, it's really close. Uh, they're formed in 1984 by the guitarist A.J. Novello and vocalist Eddie Sutton. They started with the name The Unruled. The Unruled. Uh, they played along groups such as Crumb Suckers, Prong, Ludacris, Bad Brains, and Sick of It All. Mostly at the famous CBGB venue in New York. Uh, they had a tight fusion of hardcore punk, heavy metal, thrash, hip hop, and even reggae. They're often credited as being one of the most influential and exploratory bands to emerge from the New York, the New York hardcore scene. And that band, which I listen to online, is a band called Leeway. This is Born to Expire. It's their first album. <coughs> I believe it to be at OG Press. Um, really good. Really good stuff. Um, definitely until it's got that crossover, hardcore, thrash, heavy metal feel to it. Uh, didn't hear much reggae in here, or much hip hop really, but definitely has the, uh, the sound of hardcore and thrash metal in here. Absolutely fantastic album. <clears throat> Lyrics. Profile. I haven't even cleaned this yet or listened to it. There'll be a story in this and my vinyl finds. Coming up. But yes from uh, my home country, fairly close. I was trying to, uh, I would have done one from my area, the Upper Valley it's called. It's a combination of towns from New Hampshire and Vermont because I'm right in the border of New Hampshire. But I don't have any albums from bands locally. Uh, like the Conniption Fits are local. Um, Last Kid Picked couple other ones too that were local that have contracts but they're probably not as well known as a lot of other bands but they're on the streaming services um, I could have picked Aerosmith they're from Boston which is a few hours away from me as well so I try to get as close to my home state as I could but everybody knows Aerosmith and this is more of a, I think, but more of an obscure band. So, Leeway, born to expire. <clears throat> that is my contest entry for Vinyl Hazard. Uh, one year in the in the uh, <clears throat> Vinyl Hazard's one year in the BC contest. I hope that's good. Um, did my best. <laughs> so, congratulations on being in one year and 
was it, 136 subs I see you had, which which is great too. Um, I'll have to start checking out your some more of your videos. I just subscribed the other day when I saw somebody enter the contest, so I'll have to start checking out more of your videos. And that's it.